Turning now to business news, European Union leaders have agreed to impose more sanctions on Belarus, including economic and called on their airlines to avoid the former Soviet Republic's airspace and authorize work to ban Belarusian airlines from European skies and airports. European Council President Charles Mikel told a news conference after the meeting in Belarus that the 27 national leaders of the bloc demanded an immediate release of dissident journalist Roman Protashev as well as an investigation by the International Organization for Civil Aviation into a Sunday incident during which Belarus forced a, an air flight to land in Minsk. The EU currently has a travel ban and an asset freeze in place on 88 Belarusians, including Alexander Lukashenko and seven companies, over Minsk crackdown on protests following a contested presidential election last year. This is an attack on freedom of expression and this is an attack on European sovereignty. And uh, this outrageous behavior needs a strong answer. Therefore, um, the European Council decided that there will be additional sanctions on individuals that are involved in the hijacking, but this time also on businesses and economic entities that are financing this regime. And Belarus used its control over its airspace in order to perpetrate a state hijacking. Therefore, the safety and security of flights through Belarus airspace can no longer be trusted and the Council will adapt measures to ban overflies of the EU airspace and deny access to airports, to EU airports, to Belarus airplanes. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.